रगो में दौड़ते फिरने के हम नहीं कायल जब आंख ही से न टपका तो फिर लहू क्या है पीस पी अपॉन यू टुडे आई एम प्रेजेंट एट द गालिब इंस्टीट्यूट इन न्यू दिल्ली एट द टेंथ एंड फेयर ऑफ द गालिब म्यूजियम I will tell you about this music today. I want to show you the rare and unique items that are very carefully preserved in this museum. This has been done by Uda Hadi. Mediterranean attributed to Mirza Ghali. It can be requested. This museum showcases art from Ghali's era. It contains very rare items that cannot be found very elsewhere. Looking at them, it feels as if we are both indeed alone. So come on, we walk into the museum and feel ourselves for a while. Let's move on to Gali. Here is Begum Amida Ahmad of the Gallup Institute. Viewers could be two, Yim or Jim. Uh, it was established in 1977. Today is known for its rare and unique items. Uh, Delhi is a significant place for cultural, literary, and cultural life. For those coming to the Gallup Institute, this is a museum. The museum has always been attractive. Gallup Museum, established by Begum Abida Ahmed. The museum has been since her passing dedicated to their name. This museum displays many rare items for exhibition, which sheds light on Gallup and his era. In the museum, there are clothes and pots of a hot kind. These are everyday items, and it's likely that contemporaries of Gallup have sculptures from the 18th and 19th centuries. We present it in full detail. We'll be intrigued by the beauty and uniqueness of this museum. And give the whole uh, thing. And it, it gives it a special place in your tool kit. Gallup's large portrait in the museum particularly draws the attention of visitors. It is said that this is the last picture of their life. Just a short time after drawing this picture, Gallup's retribution is feigned. Gallup is recognized as a great Urdu poet. Gali was born in Agra but spent his life in Delhi. That Mirza Gali, that's the mansion where he from 1860 to 1893 and they spent the last time in their life doing in this the mansion. same meaning the marble they apples spent their time in this house urdu and persian poetry and half of galib's support books are available mirza galib had about 200 disciples spread across all of india Among them are Bahadur Shah Zafar, Maulana Ali, Mirza Har Gopal Tafta, and Nawab Mirza Da. Significant. Who can? Significant among his influences were Ibrahim Zog, Mufti Sadruddin Aziz Waza, Imam Baksh Sahabai, Momin Khan Momin, and Hakim Mahmud Khan was included in the museum. The life situations of Ghalib's contemporaries are present with their pictures. Gali was an important figure in Urdu poetry and literature. Mostly it's about Gali. Met contemporaries like Hali Azad, Shafta Sayed, Mit Mehdi Majru and Tafta. Gali deeply cherished Ali. 
after Kalib's passing, Ali wrote the famous book, Yadgar Egali, fulfilling the duties of friendship and mentorship. There are some other interesting observations in the life of tribes because Galib's temperament was full of fun and freedom. So he gave a lot to life in terms of comfort and luxury. Those who had the pleasure of living life to the fullest has an immense love for food and liked it very much. After poetry, lion taming and dining, the time that was left was spent playing cho with his friends. When asking for the house, Tunsar Baba spoke in Taz, on whom built for strength and uh, Once it was the days of Rant Ra, and I was sitting in my hut wanting to go play Shadra with my friends. In the past, such Uru words are given to stock up ahead. And such purchases need to be taken care of in the future, as I have been given a smaller acquisition. That daughter, whom we found in Goha Sharif, in Ramadan, the devil is shackled. And today this will be debated in the authenticity of the hadith. I had half a tanker, you had a tanker. Mafti of Sin had two tankers. Oh brother, here. Carrying shield, yes, from this court, the cities of Ramadan are led in a pottery that is the pottery. I am definitely hungry. Riding a joke in India with mangoes. Ghalib really likes you. So he wrote that you have always been very dear to me. And I want the mangoes to be sweet and better. Uh, once I was eating mangoes on my porch with some friends and students. The peelings of the eyes were lying right there in front. He asked them, our friend Hakim Raziullah he doesn't like it at all. They absolutely do not like you. So, we were eaten. What was this in the jungle? Did you see the jungle as you passed by? The donkey sniffed the mango peels and left them. Afzal Hakim was given refuge by Almighty Allah. They say that even if I look closely, the moments aren't significant. I said, I said, Hakim Ji, you're being very formal. Even donkeys don't eat mango. In Ghalib's time, the Red Fort was the main center of India's shared traditions and the Ganga Jamuni culture. Inside the Red Fort, Bahadur Shah Zafar's life was a model of action for people. Language, literature and fine arts received significant progress from the Red Fort. The poetry sessions held under the patronage of Bahadur Shah Zafar, brother, brother, their demeanor was royal. And the king himself participated in these poetry sessions. This, what a beautiful scenery it is, which brings to life. 
the observations of Ghalib's time. There is a poetry session in the court of Bahadur Shah Zafar where all of Ghalib's notable poets are present. Other, others, Imam Bab Sembai. Momin Khan Momin. Self Mirza Ghalib. What? In that manner, Darim Saleh. Mustafa, peace be upon him as a chef. Mufti Sidhar Din Azifagatu. This, in fact, stems from their own habits. It was written earlier on their preparations. That was a striking moment. What was then is now becoming critically important. You know, these are some big things. They are very significant. Those poetry sessions which were managed, and every poet whose name was mentioned, presented before the king as the epitome of humanity. I'm not saying... Look, these are rare and unique Very photos nice. from Ghalib's era. Brother, and here are some rare items. Look at this head cover. Gifted by Nawab Amiruddin. Ahmad Khan Lohar. This is the gift of Hassan Dan Nawab Ala Al Din Ahmed Khan Alai. This is Chingyo. This candelabrum, a copper candelabrum, was a donation from Nawab Alauddin Ahmad Khan Alai. This is the Nawab. Yes, indeed. Let's come to the See Nawab. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. This was a very important figure in Ghalib's era. And Ghalib has dedicated countless quotes to him in his writings. See, this is bus heavy. This is gifted so by Rukhaya Sultan Begum. Look at this gooseberry. There are some pictures from the war. And look, this one in the middle, 1876. A street and inside the hills. After the arrest this of gives Shah it a very Zahar. high significance. ये भी एक जंग की तस्वीर है गदर की This is the genealogical tree of Ghalib. Ghalib has always taken pride in his ancestors 
Galip Sid. That is the question from the forefathers of this Pagari. So the question arises, is poetry the only source of honor for the forefathers of Spagari? This is the family tree of Galip. Daily bet. Yes, one for Look, me. Look, this is when Galip went to Benaras. Oh, Galip boy. stayed in this mansion. Betterment of And Galip's ancestral mansion is in Agra. This 80% was percent external owner. You see? Pension. In connection with which Galib, no, when he went to Kolkata, up? stayed in this mansion. According to Mirza Ghalib, his birth took place on December 27, 1797, corresponding to the 8th of Rajab, 1212 in the Hijri calendar. He was born in the city of Agra in Uttar Pradesh, and his full name was Mirza Asadullah Baik Khan. Their father was Abdullah Baik Khan, Mirza Okam Beg's eldest son, who migrated from Samarkand, Uzbekistan, to India. Ghalib's mother's name was Izat Unisa Begum, who was the daughter of Mirza Ghulam Hussein Khan. Mirza Ghulam Hussein Khan was the leading army officer. Galip's seals are also on display in the museum. The tradition of dowries was common in the 19th century and long before that. Galip had at least made eight peacocks in his lifetime. God's intent was known as Mirza Nusha Asadullah Khan, Muhammad Hassan Asghari Khan, star of the state, interpreter of the nation, Asadullah Khan Bahadur, warrior, so far, five seals with the name of Aurangzeb have been available. Mirza Ghalib's father, Mirza Abdullah Beg Khan, was also known as Mirza Daula by people. That's why Ghalib mentioned it in several places. It is written with his name, Mirza Nur Shah and people. He was also known as Mirza Nasha. They used to remember. And even today, they are remembered by the name of Faij Akam Mirza Nosha. And that's why Ghalib, who didn't create a single portrait at that time. A nation is taking English lessons. This beautiful statue of Dumni attracts everyone who visits the museum, both distinguished and ordinary. Some scholars working on Ghalib's life and poetry have written this that Ghalib was captivated by the love of a tyrannical fortune teller. Ghalib mentioned this evening in a letter somewhat like this, Buddy, I am a Mughal child and Mughal children are quite amazing. We kill the one we die for. I also kept a tyrannical fortune teller as a mother throughout my life. The museum houses rare items from Khalib's era. Khalib seals, Khalib seals. In addition to the statues of Ghalib and his contemporaries, Ghalib's rare manuscripts and other historical items and pictures have also been adorned. The pictures are related to the historical emirates of Khalib's era and the war of 1857. These pictures are a beautiful example of the artist's work. Those who fought the Battle of 1807 and the historical buildings of Delhi, Kolkata, Varanasi, Agra, Rampur, 
and Lucknow who were connected with Galilee. He has beautifully molded his art. The museum exhibits the art of these great artists, those who have beautifully presented their art in the light of Ghalib's indications. Abdul Rahman Chuutai and Sadiq Wain are among those painters who have painted on Ghalib's poetry, showcase their art so beautifully that connoisseurs still delight in it today. In the museum, apart from these artists, there are also pictures of other talented individuals decorated in such a way that viewers can savor the work. Ghalib's attire was significantly influenced by the Mukha lifestyle. This complexity eats the English hat. Baba, Kaaba, and special types of turbans were used in their attire. Garara. Floor length pajamas and Shuridar pajamas were special attire. Ghalib often wore an Angarka and Turkish cap as a specialty in his attire. These garments were a significant identity of the elite nobles and gentry in Ghalib's era. See, the best video picture in the next video. See this. I'm still here. This is an extremely rare exhibit in the Ghalib Museum. Uh, this is what I'm showing you. The dress of Ghalib's wife, Umrao Begum. This is their original attire they used to wear.
This one I'm going to be done with you. Oh, you see? I'm going to be done with you. I want to talk about all the things I saw in the museum related to them. Then I remember the site of the liver. Heart, liver, thirsty for complaint came. Solitude came with verses of intensity. I remember the heavens during the drop. And life all यूं भी गुजर ही जाती पास जिंदगी लाइक यूं भी गुजर ही जाती सिंस माय फादर और ब्रदर इज फायर आई वाज मैंने इनटू मजनू और सलमान में सन आई रिमेंबर टू हायर था के सर याद आया व्हेन द मिस्टेक वाज लिफ्ट गन के एंड इन द सिटी इवन दिस वाज नॉट एन एग्जाम आवर फेट अगर और जीते रहे तो वे यही विल बी गुड बाय